I'm Josh Sacknuff, and I'm here at the BombGars Invitational powered by CNOS here at the Tyson Event Center. This year, we have four days of basketball for you, and we'll start here on Thursday with the rundown of the games and those outcomes. We begin with girls action from KPRV and Newell Fonda. Newell Fonda's Anna Mercer banks it off the glass and in. And then to end the first half, Sydney Dusquet beats the buzzer. But the Mustangs were tough in this one, and they would beat the Panthers of KPRV 71 to 42. Second game of the day, it was the KPRV Panthers and the Cherokee Braves, and it was a doozy. Early on, it's the big fella Bo Goodwin driving baseline and slamming it home, but Cherokee was tough in this one too. Jacob Hurd counted and the foul, and in the final seconds of the game, Tyler Koch feeds Easton Nissen for the game winner. Panthers take this one 45-44. We shift to game three between the Revs and St. Mary's Hawks and the Wildcats of West Lyon. Hawk big men inside, Colin Homan scores, then it's Jared Seleski finding Tanner Lynette for the easy basket. This time it's Sam Schmillen who is fouled and gets it to fall. West Lyon would run away with this one though, 56-38. The final game of the day, the Cowboys of Boys Town and the Vermilion Tanagers. The Tanagers came out on fire. Count that one for Bryson Skogsberg and then from deep range, Trey Hansen. Six threes in the first quarter for Vermillion. They seem to be in control, but back came the Cowboys in the second half. Deshaun Gomes nails the triple, and then battling inside is Marcus Gray. Gets that shot to fall. Boys Town was down 15 at the half and stormed back to win 73 to 68. Well, plenty more action for you tomorrow. With tip off starting at 1 o'clock, it'll be a girls' game between Lawton, Bronson, and Homer. And we hope to see you here.